Hi, good morning students. Uh, today we are going to start with a new topic that is international marketing environment. In the last class, we discussed about PLC and stages and promotions. Now, this one is very important. Uh, what are the slides which I am going to show you? Uh, one, two marks question, damn sure it will come and one long answer. Maybe 50-50 uh, percent chances are there. They can ask from this uh, topics which I am going to explain you today. Now uh, we are going to start with a new topic that is international uh, marketing environment. International promotion that means as we know that promotion means what how the product is going to be promoted by every company or every uh, individual or the country but coming to the international level means some products will be there which are totally globally promoted in all the countries. Like international promotion is promotion that reaches across national and cultural boundaries. What are the products will be there? It should be have some limitations towards their nation and cultural boundaries. Now, international promotion is a decision to standards a campaign across all cultures or customize a campaign for every international market. If I take an example of book, because we are from education sector. Uh, are many industries also so they will launch the product uh, if I take an example of India uh, the product itself is a uh, like food but it uh, food is a company or the Samsung is a company or the Nokia is a company where the manufacturing unit is in Europe or in USA but the product which is going to be launched in India with the help of the seeing the boundary the culture of India like uh, some religious uh, uh, quotations will be there, comments will be there, are uh, good. Like if a paste will be there, like Miswak is the name they had given, which is used for uh, Middle East, and uh, they have targeted to the minor Muslims peoples for their halal food. All these things are the examples of the international campaign. Now we will go for the next thing that is how culture and communication will affect. That means cultural boundaries means what here. And communication bonus what it will have see overcoming cultural barriers in international promotions there are having two parts one is GATT another one is NAFTA GATT is nothing but global trade that mean general agreements of trades and tariffs or tariffs and trades so what's happening here so this uh, has become a international market and these are the kind of taxes which are to, going to be taxed by the other country peoples other host country peoples who are uh, importing and exporting of goods so uh, yeah general agreement of tariffs and trade so this, this is an agreement between two countries where uh, they are not going to uh, take any kind of taxes or the tariffs or some limitations will be there in the trades and tariffs which is good for the business sector for example india is a country where we are man uh, we are the producers of the mangoes mangoes are in huge demand in europe continent or europe countries also so what will happen when we are having the memorandum of understanding that is known as mou between two countries uh, there they will have the gap general agreements of tariffs and trades tariffs here nothing but taxes okay so uh, the important thing is so they will expand uh, india is exporting some goods the tax tax limitation will be there or it will be exempted like that if the india is bringing some goods or uh, which is going to be exported by other countries are imported by other countries and we are getting exportation from other countries then we also pay the taxes but when the memorandum of understanding will be there then no need of paying the taxes or some limitations will be there among the these uh, tariffs now coming to the NAFTA, NAFTA is North American Free Trade Tariffs. Totally, America is consists of two continents, one is South America and another one is North America. Coming to the North America, North America, we are having three important countries, that is USA, United States of America, Mexico, and uh, Canada. These are the three countries which are coming in the North America. That's the reason, what are the trades in America, the biggest uh, uh, Demand of trades and tariffs comes in North America for these three countries. I repeat, USA, Canada, and the Mexico are the three countries of North America 
are not the North American free trade and tariffs. There is, a, there is an agreement that they can have the free agreements within these three countries. If the goods are coming in the America, so the Mexico it will reach the Ameri uh, Mexico also it will reach the Canada also for free of trade and tariffs. But whereas if the goods are going from Europe or some other Africa continents to America, then they will charge the taxes for it. So these are the internal international boundaries are the boundary cultures of the some countries. These are the examples like USA, I mean Mexico and Canada. These three countries are even though they are, are in a united way and they are doing the business in the agreement by the name NAFTA. Now coming to the barriers to creating successful international promotions are that means what are the barriers will be there own culture's value should be there if the values will not be there then what will happen there will be clashes will come between two countries because the people of the country will not accept that and coming to the experience there should be a good experience of the product when it should be utilized by some other people if the experience and the knowledge is not there then there is no use of a product will be there for example uh, honey like, uh, nowadays the bharat honey is very famous uh, so what is happening uh, uh, the rate of this honey bottle of 500 grams is uh, almost 5 uh, 490 480 rupees is there so that has some experience many people the old people will say bring himalaya or bharat honey for the small children or for the old people or for the patients people so this is after having a good knowledge and experience on in the product itself only they are going to uh, purchase or they will demand so that these are the international that means not only in india india honey is very famous in many parts of the europe countries africa countries even in usa and asian countries also so they will have our products have a huge demand in the market because it's a nature it's a natural resource for us so that is very important for us so the values will be important for example if you are going to give the product in the Thailand, there should be a values. That means, what is the demand? They will give more important to the elephants. As if you say something, they will not accept it. If uh, in Japan, Japan peoples are the most uh, cultural, culturalized peoples, they won't uh, take, uh, that means, their uh, main policy is, they don't like to wear shoes and come into the production. That means, uh, towards the product side like means any things are religious place or places like even though in indians if you go for uh, temples or for masjids or we should have to leave our shoes and go but uh, the same kind these are the important culture where we have to have it now coming to the second step that is nothing but the cross culture audience research whenever we are going to have the audience i mean uh, uh, that means if you are going to do a research on the audience, you have to cross check the culture of the country peoples or the nation peoples or our competitors also sometimes. So this is very important. And the next one is challenges in the international advertising. See, uh, it's a very big task for us when we are going for international marketing. There will be a challenges will be there. We should have to adopt their culture by seeing and keeping in mind of another country culture customs traditions all these things is very important and should not have to create a bad name in the market if you not give importance to the values of those culturized people then the chances are there that our product promotion will not be there that means international promotion comes down automatically uh, now coming to the another thing that is Creative challenges, media availability and coverage, media cost and pricing, media restrictions. So what are the challenges we will face? Creativity challenge should be there. That means if our creativity in such a way that it should not have to harm to the values of the nations or the countries. Another thing media. As you know nowadays media is playing a very important role. If you are trying to show the positiveness but they will uh, in a chance to find out the negativism or the our miss points are our errors in the market and it has become a bribe so we have to be very careful if the media catches our mistakes or the points or errors then chances are there that they will bring in the minds of the customer that our product is not valuable or effective one next another is availability and coverage available should be there see after doing advertisement or the, uh, of our product our product should have to reach to that country and it should be available in the stock or the marts are in the international bazaars are the markets another thing is we should have to cover it so we have to cover it what are the things are missing what are the important 
logistics are missing that means the course how it is going on logistic is there or not sales promotion is going on not advertising is there or not all for promotion makes like product price place promotion is there or not we have to cover up each and everything and not only that we have to see the media cause that means media coverage will also be there we have to be see our availability and our coverage of our product in the with the help of the media now coming to the media cost and pricing see some when we are advertising our product in the market it will cost some amount and it will have some pricing and like for AMC will be there annual maintenance contract will be there of some countries uh, some companies where they will focus on it like that the uh, media people will also have the uh, annual contract where they will see the product should have to be run or they should have to get advertise or coverage media coverage should be there throughout the country or throughout the international global market also and they will have some fixed cost or some uh, target cost over there and media restrictions will also be there some restrictions will also be there by the media that so and so data and so and so particular festival we will launch twice or thrice or we will not going to focus during uh, elections or during election times they will not promote the product and they will say so and so time so and so thing by so and so celebrity or in these functions they will elaborate our promotions or advertisement some restrictions will be there that means rules and regulations norms will be there by the media peoples at the time of international promotions so we have to be very these are the challenges we have to face and we have to accept and we have to focus while launching our product or while promoting our product in the international business now coming to the challenges in international sales promotions and direct marketing and e-commerce so what are the international sales promotions will be there as you know what is sales promotion like advertisement uh, di uh, direct selling, e-marketing, uh, promotions, personal selling, all these things will come. So we have to be very careful while uh, doing the advertisement, while bringing the awareness among the uh, of the people in our place. So it's very important for us that uh, we have to be very careful while uh, uh, promoting our product and direct marketing and e-commerce should be there. That means how the direct market nowadays, e-marketing is there, e-advertisements are there, all these things, what are the problems, we also face some problems, creativity problems will be there, uh, sometimes uh, sales promotions problems will also be there, that means uh, all of a sudden the advertisement will not take place in a proper way because of uh, wars, civil wars, or the wars, civil wars, etc. in the international market, or sometimes there will be a strike, sometimes there will be a uh, what we can say lockdown what it may be it depends on the situation of the post so we have to see by seeing that we have to go for our e-marketing or e-direct marketing or sales promotions if we are the people are not coming out of the uh, houses then they will open their laptops so that we can send a direct mail to them these are the challenges we are going to face in on those days and we have to get the performance the reference over there another thing challenges in the international public relations uh, what are the international challenges we are facing that public relations will also be there now uh, how the promotion agencies around the world global agency local agency international affiliation should be there that means promotions agency will also be there local level agency that means within the state uh, global means international or within the country sometimes it will be go for international affiliate how the affiliation will take place from one country to another country all these are the agencies was took place in the for the promotion of international market now standardization and customized promotional uh, yeah customer promotion promotional campaigns will also be there so we have to focus on that also so it is very important now standardization of the product should also be there in the market and customization promotional campaign that means customization promotional campaign should be there here or two times yes and next the thing is next one environment for standardized promotion all these are the steps of international marketing environment i repeat these are the steps what are the steps you have to focus while we are going to start uh, the promotions in the international market now another thing is here uh, establishing objectives and budgeting for the promotional program okay this is raw risk takes place spelling mistake is here now what is the three steps are with there for budgeting that means what are our objectives that is communication planning and decision making 
measurements and evaluation of our result that means first communication should be there communication means what in the last first class we have said that a message sending the message via sender that means the company sending the message to the receiver receiver is nothing but the audience or the target customers we have to plan and take the decision making that means planning should be there properly of our product for launching and we should have to know about the features of our product and we have to launch at the right time at the right time by right person and we have to take the decisions what are the problems are coming errors are coming place at the product policy these are the things we have to take decisions after taking the decisions we have to take the measurements we have to evaluate also of our results yeah it is going functioning good or not if any problems are there or not we have to rectify it and we have to focus and work on it next one dagmar approach in 1961 r h kohli that means he is a writer wrote 52 objectives in his book the book title is dagmar the book name is dagmar in that r h kohli he has given 52 objectives of international marketing advertisement planning that means this approach is about advertising plan how the planning advertising plan should have to take in the international market so the dagmar is depends upon two important aspect the first one is communication task another one is the specific task so what are the uh, specific tasks you if you see uh, communication just a minute If you see here, uh, the specific task starts about the measurable starting point and benchmarking, target of the company, time period, defined audience, and return. See uh, here, or uh, sometimes best of the best benchmarking. We have to identify the error, errors. Measurable should be there. Should be starting point and benchmarking. That means how the benchmark will take place. Then benchmark is what. We are identifying the errors, mistakes of the mistakes of our product. Identifying, analyzing of our product. It will come from zero to one, zero point one, zero point two, zero point three, zero point four five, zero point five, zero point six, zero point seven point eight point nine one. The effects. What are the effects of the product? Will be there. It will come. That means if any errors. If for example, if you are manufacturing uh, a toothpaste, if the manufacturing units, some small effects or errors will be there. Then the product should have to be stopped, and we have to. Uh, made it once again while going for the final one that every company will go for the sample size the sample size means out of making some thousands or lakhs of products in quantities they will manufacture some 50 to 100 products at the starting point that is known as sample size or they will manufacture 400 parts and they will identify defects they will identify the defects what are the defects are there in the product or the manufacturer the leaking is there or not are the color is looking good or not are the pattern is good or not are the taste is good or not are the The weight is that means quantity is good or not the price is good everything that will takes place now the target of the company that means we have to specific target what is our target to whom what is our main objective we have to focus on it and what is our time period to come at the maturity level from the introduction part of the product to the growth rate to the maturity level and this is very important and next one is define audience who is our target customers Tar define here means nothing but Target customer should be there, and all the aspects. What are the specific tasks? Are there? It should be going the written one. That means it should have to come in the policy, company policy, product policy, organizations policy. All these things should be there. That means memorandum of understanding or the policies, code of conduct. All these things will come under the written part. Next one. Yeah. Next one is uh, approaches used for a specific uh, promotional budget. See what are those? It should be that means some approaches will be there. What are the approaches? As Dagmar is one approach, and approaches used for setting promotional budget. What is our? It is it is set for promoting our budget. That means what is our budget? Am we are having? So I will show you here so that it is easy for you. Yes. First one is affordable method. So what are the effort? That means we have to every company will keep some budget in their account that is known as reserve and surplus. If you have uh, done with the financial term in our balance sheet, we'll keep some amount uh, for reserve and surplus for the company or for the future risk. So some amount will be there kept for the promotional budget for promoting our product. And another one is percentage of sales method. That means company keep some budget for sales promotions. Selling price and profit per unit. What it may be, all this percentage of sales is also with it. In return, whatever the sales are, uh, that means a product is going to be sell of hundred rupees. 
in 100 rupees some percentage of sales method will also be they will add because, because whatever uh, the company is bearing the charges okay. or the expenditure, expenditure for selling or the sales promotions all it costs they will add in that part only next one is competitive party method in this we are having two methods the competitions the as you know competitors are there in the market how we have to come up with their strategies and policies the first one is competitors budget represent the collective wisdom of the industry when we are starting the company we should have to know what is our customers uh, budget customer budget and what is their wisdom uh, that means what is their collective represent in the industry in their industry so it will be like a wisdom for us we, will, we should have to know the competitors budget how much it will be there with them and how much we have to keep because it's like a, a business war and another one what and how competitors spends help prevent promotional war that means how our competitors are spending the amount towards the, the promotion of their product and how we have to promote our product in which sense uh, like sometimes like Mountain Dew and uh, Coca-Cola sometimes it will, there will be a competition among these two companies even though it is the same brand but for the sales promotion sales promotion is different of different product so there is a, will be a different they are going to take celebrities and they want every business people's organizations want to earn more profit by minimizing the expenditure now the last one is the objective and tax method what is our objectives what are the goals and aims of a company what is the task as we are having talking about to uh, communication tasks and specific tasks all these are the things where we have to approach next pest this is very important they may ask for you for two months or sometimes it may be asked for four months we are having short analysis also here before that this is nothing but in the exams they will ask you for uh, uh, a big mark like 12 marks or five marks question sometimes also they are going to ask this what do you mean by uh, integration of marketing communication integration of marketing communication is also known as SWOT analysis SWOT analysis that means integrating whatever the marketing communications are there uh, how the communications takes place it will with the help of SWOT analysis SWOT means what S means strength, weak, W means weakness, O means opportunity, T means trick. See, when a company is going to launch its product, every con uh, individual or company, that means individual firm or the businessman, people or the organizations or the country will focus on this SWOT analysis. How? First, we should have to know what are our strength. Depending on that, how much uh, percentage of profit we can earn. And coming to next thing, what is our weakness? W means weakness. What is the weakness of a company or the product or a firm? So we are what after identifying our problems, weakness, we have to convert those problems into strength, or that should have to be uh, find the uh, solutions for our problems. All these things will be taking place. Now coming to the opportunities. Opportunities comes very less. We should have to utilize the opportunity at the right place. So the company after seeing its strength and weaknesses, they will wait for the opportunity in the market. Once they got the opportunity to the market, they will launch their product in the market. And they will wait for that chance. And no one want to lose that opportunity. Opportunity never comes back. These are the sayings of the elders. Now coming to the trees. Trees means problems whatever that we are having so we have to rectify our problems who are our enemies sometimes our computers will create some problems so we have to rectify all those things and have to work on it next one here is nothing but the pest analysis so what are the problems we are getting we'll get political factors will be there there are some norms will be there and economical factors will be there like financially coming to the social social culture social religious geographically gender basis uh, st uh, age biases all these things will come and technological factors what are the technological factors will be there we have to focus on it see coming to the political factors nowadays a company want to launch a product we should have to be very careful while saying the uh, political factors nowadays also some rules regulations legal terms will be there they should have to fulfill all those political factors 
now coming to the economic factor also in economic factors some economic in returns what we are going to get how much the satisfaction level is there how much allocations that means whatever the scarcity of the product is there or supply is there we should have to allocate it at the right time at the right place we should have to satisfy the needs and wants of the customers with the right price at the right place coming to the social analysis social analysis it works on totally on the total upon the society what is the society wants what the society demand needs and wants and we have to uh, focus on according to their religious terms or uh, age terms or the gender terms for example like social if you see the religious terms some companies will launch their product during the uh, dasara offer diwali offer or special offer ramzan offer like that they will offer all these things they are going to target to a target people because it's a work like an opportunity for them and no one to lose the opportunity for this now coming to the technical factors nowadays not only uh, this pes but also t factors are also essential while while promoting our product for advertising of a promote uh, from uh, of a product our awareness of our product in the society that is important nowadays technologies like mm, social media or uh, uh, facebook whatsapp twitter instagram uh, mass media all these things are coming how the how they are promoting the products how they are bringing the awareness so these are the analysis we have to keep in mind for promoting of our product or promotion the market now political factors come from of rules regulations and policies okay so these are the things we have to know and this is the end of the slide i hope students you people have understand uh any doubts and one more thing students you people should have to focus on the comment box and you have to give your attendance to me thank you have a nice day